Welcome inside Caveman Fieldhouse for High School Rewind's coverage of the Elite Eight Basketball Tournament. I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us in our matchup. The Leighton Lancers and the Brighton Bengals. Welcome, everybody. So glad to have you along with us. Get a chance to watch two of the top players in the state of Utah go out tonight. That's what the Elite Eight Tournament's all about, is showcasing some of the top talent in the state of Utah. Two kids who are committed to go play. Uh, one is committed to go play Division One basketball. The other one who's still sorting out his, uh, his options and a very young and up-and-coming talent. Let's start with Brighton. That is Brock Miller. Young man committed to go play Division One basketball earlier this uh, month. And a lot of fun to see Brock. We've covered him a couple of years now here in High School Rewind. And we expect him to play very, very well um, as the Brighton Bengals come in this game playing extremely well. A chance to also see a couple of uh, recruits you might know from the football field. And Simi Fajoko and also Osa Messina will be playing basketball as well for Brighton. He's a very good player and a power forward for the Bengals. A chance to now see the Leighton Lancers, a tough loss at the beginning of the year. They knocked off, nearly knocked off Lone Peak at Lone Peak early in the year. Jerese Blackman, one of the best athletes in especially one of the best basketball players you may not have heard of in the state of Utah. The kid is a special athlete, a high riser. It'll be a lot of fun to watch this matchup. We know our players and our teams. When we get back, it'll be opening tip-off. You are watching High School Rewind only on Xfinity On Demand. We're about set for the opening tip-off. Jumping for Layton is Derese Blackman. And jumping for the Brighton Bengals is number 32, John Gramillion. Both teams made the state tournament a year ago. Both trying to get back and win a state championship as the opening tip controlled by the Leighton Lancers. This is Julian Blackman. Off the screen of Kemp. Into the corner. And drop it inside to Drew Reese. Drew Reese working on CB Fajoko. The ball's loose. Picked up by Kemp. Kicked out to Blackman. Blackman had that ball go off of Kemp. Watts tracks it down. Here's Blackman. Blackman hard to the hole. Left hand and one. Drew Reese Blackman goes right to the bucket. Gets a bump and bucket. We'll go to line looking for the three-point play. And Blackman completes the three-point play. Quick 3-0 lead for the Lancers. Cook it in the front quarter. Brock Miller. Miller back to Osa Messina. Messina leaves it to Gramillion. And Gramillion fall away jumper is good. And it's 3-2 in the early going. Julian Blackman into the front court. Has back to Camp, will pull for three. And Camp is off the mark and the rebound taken by Messina. Messina on the run, gives it up to Fohoko. Fohoko to the bucket, can't finish, and the rebound taken by Camp. Blackman, oh, nice ball movement through the hands of Blackman. Watts puts up a crazy shot. Camp couldn't finish the follow. And it'll be quickly down the floor now. I thought that was Cragen. Down the floor with the Bengals. Vermillion. Floating shot is off the mark, saved by Watts in to Dries Blackman. To mention Dries Blackman, one of the more athletic kids we'll see in the state of Utah. The senior, Blackman jumps it and scores it. Five to two, the early lead for the Lancers. Brock Miller bringing it into the front court. Will pull for three. That's too strong. Rebound, Osa Messina. Messina goes up with it and scores. Now five to four, Messina. One of the, the top recruit in the state of Utah for football. Uh, BYU coaches, Coach Papinga, Coach Guy Holiday here. Also, Coach Marcus Tuyasasopo of the USC Trojans here to watch Osa Messina. Camp in the lane, will float it up and score. Nice take by Jacoby Kemp. He's a younger brother of a former outstanding football player in the state of Utah, Marcus Kemp, who now plays for Coach Norm Chow and the Warriors. A pass stolen by Blackman, going the other way, gives it up in the corner. Watts for three. That's too strong out of the hands of Dries Blackman, and will go the other way. Five and a half remaining in the opening quarter. Here's Fohoko. One of the top receivers in the state this last year is on our Nudge All-State team. Drop it in, Messina off the window and good. Nicely done by Osa Messina. And it's seven to six. Down the floor now, Dries Blackman. Five points in the early going. Blackman in the lane, kicks it out. Three on the way from Cragen. Off the mark and the rebound taken by Fajoko. Fajoko on the run. 
cross court. And we got a foul away from the ball. That's going to go against Craig and Akinfoko to the floor. Quick inbound in to Gramillion. Can't finish. And Blackman tracks down a loose ball. Gets in the hands of Brother Julian. And back up the floor we go with the Lancers. Mentioned Leighton lost that tough game against Lone Peak. 73-70 to in the opening game of the year. We're going to have a foul away from the ball. I believe that might go against Fajoko. Craig in the inbound. Gets it in to Dries Blackman. Blackman will pull for three off the mark. And the rebound is fought for. And they're going to say off of Layton. And we'll go with Brighton. Up the floor with Utah State commit Brock Miller. Looking around, Simi Fajoko. Miller will pull for three. Too strong. And a rebound taken by Julian Blackman. Julian quickly up the floor and is fouled in the lane. And that will go against Brighton's number 30, Chase Mims. Check that. Foul goes against Bickmore. In the corner to Watts. And now we're going to have a foul on Brock Miller. That's quickly 14 fouls on the Bengals. Craig in to trigger the inbound. He gets it in to Dowland Watts. Watts pirouettes, puts a high off or puts it off the glass. Rebound to Messina ahead to Fajoko, who tracks it down and saves it in to Julian Blackman. Going the other way with Layton. We get on the floor. Here's Watts. Watts gives it up to Camp. Camp gets it to Juris Blackman, trying to save it in. Out of bounds off of Brighton, and we'll stay here. Cragen gets it in to Juris Blackman. Three minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. Blackman to the glass and scores. Therese Blackman was committed to UC Santa Barbara. Not a bad place to go to college. As uh, the late Lancers lead seven to six. Messina pulls for three. No, no two. Caught a two. Osa Messina is down nine to seven in favor of Brighton. Pardon me, nine to nine. Scoreboard malfunction here. So nine all with 3.05 remaining in the quarter. And we got an offensive foul against Layton. First foul on Therese Blackman. 14 fouls on Brighton. Two team fouls on Layton. Vermillion kicks it back to Brock Miller. Miller will pull up inside the arc off the mark. And a rebound taken by Julian Blackman. 2.45 now on the clock. Blackman will pull up inside the arc. Back iron. Rebound to Bickmore. In the hands of Osa Messina. And Osa right down the lane and lays it up and in and one. Messina with the bump and bucket. And will go to line looking for the three-point play. And Messina can't finish the three-point play. Back down the floor. 10-9 a lead for the Lancers. Or pardon me, for the Bengals. Blackman can't get it to go, and the rebound collected by Gramillion. Up the floor, as Messina lost his footing, and he gets it back. Drop it into Miller. Miller to the baseline, and nice job by Blackman to alter the shot. Here's Gramillion, fall away jumper, rolls off of the rebound, collected by Layton's number 32, Cody Edwards. On the push now with Blackman. Here's Armistead. Armistead will pull for three. And Armistead from downtown. And it's now 12 to 10 in favor of the Lancers. 135 remaining in the opening quarter. Fajoko is fouled by Edwards. 14th foul on the Lancers. And Miller, pardon, Bigmore gets it back. Up top, Fohoko will pull for three. Fohoko off the mark and a rebound right in the hands of Gramillion off the hands of Blackman, and it's now 12 to 12. Here's out, Armistead. 
Here's Roberts. And we're going to have a carry against Layton. And it'll be Bengal ball. So it was a baseline violation. It looked like a carry call. Either way, in the hands of the Bengals. 55 seconds remaining in the half. Try to get it inside to Miller. That pass is stolen by Blackman. Blackman down the lane and no call on the contact. Blackman, nice find inside. Roberts is bumped, no call. And the rebound is collected by Layton. And we're going to have a foul on the rebound as it was collected by the Lancers. Foul is on Cody Edwards in the Blackman in the lane and he's fouled. Misses the shot, will go to the line and shoot two free throws. First free throw no good from Blackman's got one more. And it's off the rim as well. Gramillion with the board. It hands off to McKay Bickmore. Bickmore hands it back to Brock Miller. 20 seconds remaining. And Miller will hold it. Still Roberts comes out and contests. Get the back to pick more. And then we got a foul away from the ball. Is uh, going to get Steele Roberts a holding Brock Miller. Messina lobs in to Fajoko. And Simi Fajoko puts it in. You got five seconds remaining. Nobody comes back for Julian Blackman. Three seconds. The clock still running. Fajoko with the steal. Fajoko, they're not going to get a shot up. And now to do it for the first quarter. At the end of one quarter, Brighton leads 14 to 12 over Layton. Start of the second quarter, we'll start with the Bengals. Try to lob it into Grimillion. And it's stolen, going the other way with Blackman. Julian Blackman. Cross court to Tid. Oh, pardon me. Jerese Blackman down the lane, can't finish. And a rebound to Bickmore. Who get on the floor now? Bickmore to Grimillion. Grimillion will jump it up and score it. And it's 16 to 12 in favor of Brighton. Here's Armistead. Gives it up to Blackman. Now Julian Blackman cross court to Roberts. Back to Armistead, he leans onto it. Roberts again. Trapped in the corner, and it's stolen by Gramillion. And we'll go the other way, out of bounds, off of Layton. Messina. Gramillion out of Fajoko. Fajoko has that one nearly stolen. Yes, stolen by Julian Blackman. Blackman. Cross to Roberts. Gives it up to Jerez Blackman. Jerez goes through the defender, gives it up. Jumper along the baseline is up and no good from Orbre. Who got on the run now with Brock Miller. Miller leaves it back for Bickmore for three. And Bickmore knocks down the triple. Seven point game, timeout taken by Layton. 6.25 remaining in the half. Brighton leads 19 to 12. Timeout, Lancers. After the timeout, down the floor with Julian Blackman. Gives it up to Jerese, back to Julian. Game a little choppier than we thought it might be. Two high scoring teams. Blackman down the baseline. Try to give it up and Miller was right there and steals it. Going the other way with Brock Miller. Miller gives it up. Messina sized up a three, puts it on the floor, goes hard to the bucket. And we're gonna have a blocking call against Layton. Underneath the hoop after it came off, Obre gonna draw the foul. First free throw good from Messina. Got one more. Knocks them both down, 21 to 12. Down the floor with Blackman. Therese Blackman puts it on the floor, goes to the hole and scores, and a foul. And Blackman go to line looking for the three-point play. Blackman hits the free throw. It's now 21 to 14. Messina gets it up to Bickmore. Gramillion holds on, jumps it, and it's too strong. Rebound in the hands of the late Lancers. On the push now with Watts. Watts gives it up 
to Cragen. Back to Watson. He'll reset. 5.25 remaining in the half. Therese Blackmore, Blackman, pardon me. Pull up three. And it crawls off and goes over the backboard. We'll go the other way. Bickmore had it stolen. Cragen lays it up and in. Nice play by Julian Blackman. Come right back. Bickmore to inbound. Gets it into Messina. Osa into the front court. Three on the way from Bickmore off the mark. Ball still loose. Tracked down by Messina. And Osa gives up to Brock Miller. We're going to have a foul on the floor. Watts is beside himself. But it'll be one on one free throws for Brock Miller. First free throw good. And the second good as well. 23 to 17. Cookie down the floor. Julian Blackman terminates, kicks back to Watts. Watts now in the corner. Cragen down the lane, leaves it too strong. And Therese Blackman on the board. And it'll be two free throws coming away of Blackman. Blackman missed the first. And rims out the second as well. 23 to 17, Brighton leads. Here's Osa Messina. And he gets it back to Gramillion. Gramillion is fouled by Julian Blackman. And again, 1-1 one -on -one free throws for the Bengals. Front end missed by Gramillion. Rebound to Layton. Up the floor now with Julian Blackman. 4.25 remaining in the half. Watts will pull for three. And it's off the mark. Rebound to Julian Blackman. And he gets fouled and one. Messina came down to his ankle. See if he stays in. First, the free throw off the mark. And a rebound collected by Miller. Goes behind the back. Loses the handle. Going the other way. Watts leaves it up to Kemp. Kemp down the lane. Adjust his shot. Can't get it to go. And it's up and in. And one for Cragen. 23 to 21, Cragen at the line looking for the plus one. Cragen for the plus one. Off the mark and Gramillion with the board. Quickly outlets it out to Bus, or pardon me, Fajoko and out of bounds off of Armistead. Bickmore terminates up top to Fajoko. Quickly over to Osa Messina. Back to Brock Miller. Miller. Pulls for three off the mark and a rebound taken by Messina. And Osa double dribble. We'll go with Layton. Up the floor with Armistead. 340 remaining in the first half. Cross court to Cragen. Cragen trying to get inside to Kemp. Kemp does get it off the loose ball. Outside to Watts for three. Off the mark, rebound. Kemp keeps it up high. Goes up, can't score, but Jerese Blackman goes up and puts it in. He'll get back down the floor. Brock Miller all knotted up at 23. In the corner, Bickmore. Up top, Osa Messina. Hang on to it. 310 and a half stolen. Bad pass from Messina going the other way with Watts. Pirouettes sees Blackman. Blackman goes up and throws it down with one hand. Timeout. Brighton. Three minutes remaining in the half. 25 to 23. Layton comes storming back to take the lead. After the timeout, Brighton trailing. 25 to 23. Had a nice lead at one point. But Layton starting to put things together here in the second quarter. But a surprising game. American Fork and Skyview. Winner of that will play. The winner of this game will play them tomorrow. Bickmore over to Fajoko. Back to Bickmore. Drop a high post to Messina in the corner. Miller for three. Miller yet to hit from range. Therese Blackman with the board. Therese Blackman on the run. Inside a Watson. They're going to get Blackman with the charge. Get Bickmore the purple heart setting in on that one. Foul on Blackman. So Blackman go to the bench with two fouls. The two-point lead for the Lancers, here's Brock Miller. And we got Miller fouled on the floor. There'll be one, no, well, pardon me, two free throws coming away at Brock Miller. Miller hit the first. And the second. 
25 all. 2.15 remaining in the half. Up the floor with Armitstead. See what they can do without Julian Blackman on the floor. Or pardon me, Dries Blackman on the floor. Julian Blackman on the floor either. Near side, this is Mason Huff. Has that one stolen by Fajoko. Fajoko going the other way. Will lay it up and in. Seemed to size that one up. Thought he might rise up and throw it down, but decided not to. Inside, kick it back out, Armitstead. Armitstead down the lane, and that pass is wide enough to mark the Mason Huff will go the other way. In the corner, Messina goes right back to Brock Miller. Didn't pull the three, back up top, working around Fajoko, near side to Bickmore. Back to Fajoko. 1.15 on the clock. Brock Miller, cross court, Bickmore. Now Gramillion, cross court to Brock Miller. 105 on the clock. Here's Miller. Will pull for three off the mark. Near 30 second, 35, 40 second possession, ends in a three. Back inside the camp, outside Watts. Watts has that one knocked out of bounds by Osa Messina and will stay here. Quickly inbounded in, up top, back to Watts. Watts down the baseline, stripped away. Going the other way now with Brock Miller. Miller down the lane, off the rim and in. Thought it might crawl off, but it goes down. Nice steal by Trevor Jensen to get that started. Put it back down the floor now with the Leighton Lancers. Armitstead. Now Dallin Watts. Five seconds. Three seconds. Can they get a shot off before the buzzer goes off? It'll count if it goes from Watts, and it goes! Dallin Watts at the buzzer. And at the end of the first half of play, Brighton leads 29 to 28 over Leighton. High School Rewind is excited to have Nudge as our player of the game sponsor. Nudge is one of the fastest growing companies in Utah Valley. With over 500 employees, Nudge is one of the largest contributors of volunteer community outreach programs. To learn more about Nudge and their program, visit www.nudge.com. Start of the second half, we'll start with the late Lancers. Julian Blackman off the screen, Dries Blackman. Outside to Watts. Watts will hand back to Dries. Working on CB Fajoko. Down the lane with the left hand and good. It was a nice end of the first half with Dries Blackman, a little slow to get started. But he's turned it on a little bit here. Inbound into Bickmore. Camp right there. Here's CB Fajoko. Gonna go right at Blackman off the window. Blackman got it. Going the other way with Dries. Two of the better athletes in the state of Utah, Fajoko and Blackman. Julian Blackman for three. And the late Lancers have got their offense moving. And then I lead 33 to 29. Down the floor with Brock Miller. Struggled from behind the arc in the first half. Got a number of free throws. Here's Osa Messina. Step back at the free throw line. Too strong. And a rebound collected by Kemp. Hands off to Julian Blackman. Here's Watts. Cross court to Julian. Now up top, Juris. Again, work it up. Setting up for Hoko. Over to Julian. And Leighton will reset their offense. Works off the screen to Jerese Blackman. Julian wrapped it around, back to him. Jerese falling away, leaves it short. Cragen with the board, swatted away by Gramillion in the hands of Osa Messina. Ahead to Brock Miller. Miller to the hole. And there's a foul on Julian Blackman. And Brock Miller will go back to the line to shoot two free throws. Miller missed the first free throw and has got one more. 
And then the Aggie commit hits the second. 33 to 30. Leighton leads, 6.20 remaining in the third quarter. Oh, and it's still by Osa Messina. Messina lays it up and in. Now a one point game, 33 to 32. Here's Armistead, gets it into the hands of Jerese Blackman. Jerese in the lane, kicks it out, Watts for three. And that rims out, a rebound, Gramillion. Gramillion in the hands of Brock Miller, going the other way. Miller working on Watts, terminates. Gives it in to Osa Messina. Messina working on Jerese Blackman. Got that shot through the hands of Blackman, swatted. Got the block on Gramillion, going the other way with Blackman. Here's Armistead, cross court, Cragen for three. And Cragen knocks down the triple. Matt Cragen from downtown, it's now 36 to 32. 5.25 remaining in the third quarter. Up the floor, here's Bickmore. Coach Gardner setting up the offense. Messina back to Bickmore. Back to Messina. In the corner, Fajoko will pull for three. Too strong off the hands of Fajoko. Going the other way with Blackman. 5.05 remaining in the third. Blackman working off Fajoko. Leaves it outside for Armistead off the mark. Going the other way. After the turnover, we had a clock, clock malfunction. 4.55 remaining in the third quarter. Bickmore back to Osa Messina. Now Bickmore. Bickmore, cross court to Simi Fajoko. Back to Bickmore. Bickmore thought about three, gives it up to Messina. Back to Bickmore, now over to Brock Miller. Off the hands of Miller and will go the other way. It's after the turnover, down the floor with Armistead and the Leighton Lancers. Here's Armistead. Now Cragen will pull for three and it's short, rebound. Off to Bickmore. Bickmore gets it ahead to Messina. Messina in the lane outside Fajoko. Nice find inside to Miller. Miller along the baseline off the window and good. Nice ball movement now 36 to 34. Halfway through the third quarter inside of four minutes. Armistead. Looks off the screen of Camp. Now over to Watts. Watts drop it to Blackman working on Fajoko. Drop step inside, and they got to travel. Off the jump step, and he shuffled his feet. Wipe off the bucket. It's after the turnover. Chance to tire, take the lead for the Bengals. Bickmore outside to Oso Messina. Messina is tied up. One official has a foul, one has a jump ball. And we'll have a little conversation. Messina. Called it a foul into Gramillion. Gramillion working on Watts. Hands back, Bickmore. Bickmore inside out to Fajoko. And Simi will bring it up top, hands off to Bickmore. Three minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Messina thought about three and hangs on. Really threw that one away. Got it in the hands of Bickmore, back to Messina. Now Brock Miller. Two fifty-five now remaining in the third. Long possession for the Bengals. Deliberate possession here for the Bengals. Everything between about two or three players. Drop it in, Gramillion. And Gramillion shuffled his feet and will go the other way. Full court pressure put on by the Bengals. Ahead, Dries Blackman. Gramillion going to stand his ground. Blackman had a knocked away by Gramillion. Kemp has it. Ball still loose. And it's still loose, and now finally a jump ball. Possession arrow belongs to Brighton. 2.15 remaining in the third quarter. Up the floor, Bickmore. Now over to Fajoko. Now up top, Bickmore. 
Vogel hands back and again for a deliberate possession. High post from Messina. Pulls the trigger, contested by Watts. Blackman with the board will go the other way. 145 on a rolling clock in the third quarter. Blackman, fall away, jumper off the mark and a rebound pulled down by Gramillion. Gramillion in the hands, oh, so Messina. Messina on the run, down the lane. Messina to the hole and we got a charge. Blackman, Blackman was waiting underneath the hoop. That's a tough one against Osa Messina. We'll go the other way. So after the foul, down the floor we go with Leighton Lancers. Blackman, nice find inside to Kemp. Kemp swatted away by Gramillion. In the hands of Brock Miller. Miller on the push. Bickmore. Foul on the pass. We'll stay here. Messina. And a foul on Bickmore. Second team foul on the Bengals. Here's Armistead. And the pass is knocked away. Trying to get to Dries Blackman. Now he has him. Blackman hands back to Watts. Corner three from Craig and off the mark. Rebound to Messina. It's stripped away by Watts. Messina got it back in the hands of Brock Miller. Miller on the run. Miller to the hoop. And couldn't get a goal. Gramillion's put back. Wouldn't go. Now Dries Blackman going the other way. Blackman retreats as Messina was waiting in the key. Armistead. Looking for his second three and gets it. Armistead from downtown. Nice find from Jerese Blackman. And it's now a 39-34 lead for the Leighton Lancers. Bickmore will hold it at the top around midcourt. 20 seconds remaining in the quarter. Fajoko in the corner to Osa Messina. Messina. Reverse pivot and gets it out to Bickmore. Seven seconds. Five seconds. Gramillion tries to split the defenders, loses the handle. Ball still loose in the hands of Armistead. It will count if it goes. And it's short. And that'll do it for the third quarter. At the end of three, the Leighton Lancers with a five-point lead. 39 to 34 over Brighton. Start of the fourth quarter. A five-point lead for the Lancers. Going to hang on to it. Brighton. They often struggle a little bit in the third quarter, and can they find it in the fourth? Up top with Camp over to Watts, drop it inside to Blackman, jump it, and it's short inside of the arc. Gramillion with the board, hands off to Bickmore. Had some long possessions from the Bengals, none of which have ended in points. Let's see if they speed things up a little bit. Inside Messina, outside Miller, pulls for three. And Miller and one! Hit the three-point bucket. The foul will go on Cragen. And it's a four-point opportunity for Brock Miller. And it's a four-point play for Brock Miller. Pulls Bengals within one, 39 to 38. Arm instead finds Kent looking for Blackman. Jerees picks it up, gets it outside to Watts. Watts down the lane, floated up, and no, Kemp's put back, wouldn't go. Bickmore with the board, jump ball, possession arrow belongs to Brighton. Up the floor, Bickmore. Fajoko, back to Bickmore. Back to Fajoko. Here is Brock Miller. Gramillion, mid-range jumper in and out. Go back down the other way with Jerese Blackman. Armitstead, down the lane, finds Kemp. Kemp puts it on the floor, goes up, but they can't get it to go. Gramillion with another board. He'll hand off to Brock Miller on the run. 6.15 remaining in the fourth quarter, and that ball is stolen by Cragen. Try to go cross court, Craigan waiting for it. Laying a chance to extend their lead with 6.05 remaining in the fourth quarter. Go, 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 
Armitstead off the screen. Here's Cragen. Up top with Armitstead. Blackman coming out the screen. Try to drop it in. Do finally get it into Blackman. Brock Miller on his back. Blackman going to have a foul on the floor. The inbound underneath the hoop. Cragen gets it in to Watts. Watts at the hoop. Got around Messina, and it's a foul on Osa Messina. And add one opportunity for Watts. Extends the lead 41 to 38 with a free throw coming up. Watts hits the free throw, and it's now 42 to 38. So the free throw was good. It's now 42 to 38 in favor of Layton. 5.20 remaining in the fourth quarter. Osa Messina. Jensen hanging on a pivot. Up top to Fajoko. Now Miller. Watch right there. Messina trying to get it up top. And it's stolen by Julian Blackman. No, off of Blackman. And we'll stay here. Fajoko, 4.50 on the clock. Messina off the window. Nice take by Osa Messina. And it's now 42 to 40. Blackman, hands back, Cragen, now Watts. Watts in the key, float it up and score it. <laughs> Goes up, gets two of the better defenders of Brighton. Somehow got the floater to go down. 44 to 40. Jensen, up top for Hoko, back to Brock Miller. In the corner, Osa Messina. Messina to Miller. Up top, Jensen. And now Fajoko, back to Jensen. Halfway through the fourth quarter. Timeout taken by Coach Gardner with 3.56 remaining in the fourth. After the timeout, 3.55 remaining in the fourth quarter. Up top, Messina. 3.45 on a rolling clock. Now Fajoko. Now Messina. Cross court, Bickmore. Thought about three, tried to go inside to Bick, or pardon me, Gramillion. Knocked out of bounds by Dries Blackman. Messina into Gramillion. Gramillion too strong, a wild shot. Thought he was going to get a foul call. And then picks up a foul, a tough one. And it'll be Leighton Ball with 3.23 remaining. We'll get down the floor. Here's Kemp. Kemp had the ball stolen by Brock Miller. Going the other way, one on two. Miller able to control himself and lays it up and in. That was a nice take and finish. He thought Miller might rush it. Did a nice job of gathering himself. And there's going to be a foul on Osa Messina as Blackman hit the floor. Julian Blackman. Now Watts over to Julian. Oh, and stolen by Messina. Going the other way, right at Julian Blackman. Blackman slapped it away. Messina tried to save it in. That went off at Cragen, and we'll stay here. Messina. In the corner to Brock Miller. Up top, Bickmore. Now Fajoko. Three-pointer on the way for Messina. And Osa Messina from downtown. 45 to 44, Brighton takes back the lead. 2.20 remaining in the fourth quarter. Down the floor we go with Layton. Julian Blackman. Now to Watts. Been a little bit since we've heard from Dries Blackman. Vocal's done a nice job on him. Here's Dries Blackman. 2.05 now on the clock. Dries working on Fajoko. Kicks back out to Watts. Watts off the screen. Watts will pull for three. And Watts buries the triple. Timeout, Layton. The most unassuming on the floor. Hits a big shot. 
and it's 47-45, Lancers. So back down the floor after the big three from Watts. 150 remaining in the fourth quarter. Bohoko and now to Osa Messina. Messina back in the corner. Miller down the baseline, hard to the hole, off the window and good. Nice take and finish by Brock Miller. Ties us up at 47 all, 135 remaining in the fourth quarter. Going to go four low on the offense. Cragen looking into Blackman, up top to Watts. Watts drops it in, Blackman. Blackman, series of moves, puts it up and in. Nice finish by Dries Blackman. It's now 49 to 47, 115 on a rolling clock. Now down to minute 10. Here's Fajoko back to Bickmore. Back to Fajoko. Keep everything on the outside. Timeout, Coach Gardner with 101 remaining in the fourth. After the timeout, one minute remaining in the fourth quarter. Bickmore back to, Mes to Messina. Cross court, Bickmore. Again, going to keep everything on the outside. 50 seconds remaining. Got to take note, long possessions have not turned out well for Brighton throughout this game. Fajoko. And another timeout for Coach Gardner. 40 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. 40 seconds remaining. Brighton ball. Here's Fajoko. Now Miller. Miller off the screen of Gamillion. And they're going to get Watts. Oh, double dribble. Thought they're going to get Watts with the foul, the double dribble. And it'll be Leighton Ball. It'll be bonus free throws on the foul, one on one. Here's Watts. Coach Garner wanting to trap, nobody coming. And there's a steal by Brock Miller. And he's fouled by Watts. That's only the 15th foul on Leighton. So it'll be him down near side. Fajoko to trigger. 25 seconds remaining. Brighton. Clean on some hopes here. They can tie it up. Inside out. Miller for the lead. It was blocked by Cragen and Messina with the board and put in. 15 seconds remaining. Timeout taken by Leighton. Osa Messina off the block shot. Ties this up at 49 apiece. Cragen will trigger the inbound. 49 all. 10 seconds now on the clock. Julian Blackman off the screen of Jerese Blackman. Five seconds into the to Cragen for the win. And Cragen is the three with two seconds remaining. There's about 2.8 on the clock when the three went in. And Leighton leads 52 to 49. 2.9 on the clock. Camp is going to guard Messina on the inbound. He gets it in, and it's stolen by Cragen. And it's a travel. So the ball will be back here. That clock shouldn't have gone out. They'll put some time back on the clock. But it'll be Brighton ball near side. They put one second on the clock. It'll be inbound on the far side. I imagine the play will be set up for Brock Miller to get this shot. Messina looking. Gets it into Miller. And Miller is fouled. It'll be a two-shot foul. And let's see if they give him three, but it should be a two-shot foul. And no, they said the clock is out. It'll be two shots with no time on the clock. Still trying to figure it out. That'll only be the 16th foul on Leighton if they called it on the floor. And if that's the case, this ball game's over, 52 to 49. It was called a foul on the floor. That's only the 16th foul against Leighton. Ball game is over. The Leighton Lancers with an impressive win over Brighton, 52 to 49 on the three-pointer from Cragen with just under three seconds remaining. Leighton will move on and will play Skyview. And for Brighton, they will play American Fork. Our final score, Leighton 52, Brighton 49. Stay tuned for our post-game wrap-up and our Nudge Player of the Game selection. And welcome back in American Fork High School. Again, our final score, the Leighton Lancers 52 and the Brighton Bengals 49. And an up and down affair, especially in the fourth quarter. A lot of big shots. Also, Messina gets a lay-in to tie the game up late. And it was a big three from Cragen, the young man from the Leighton Lancers. Hits a big three-pointer and gives the Leighton Lancers a 52-49 to edge. And then a little bit of craziness ensued. Pass full court from Osa Messina was picked off by Cragen. He fell to the floor, which is a traveling violation. But one second back on the clock, an inbound into Brock Miller. He'd caught the ball and then was fouled, as the official said. 
Coach Gardner wanted a foul on the shot. They didn't get it. Layton with a foul on the floor, only gave him 16 fouls. It wasn't enough to shoot free throws. The clock was already out. And the game was over and a win for the Layton Lancers. And when you look at this ball game, it's very interesting. We talked about a couple of open players. Brock Miller had a tough night from the floor. He made a lot of free throws and a couple of buckets around the, around the rim. It was Osama Messina who had some big threes down the stretch and some big shots for the Brighton Bengals in this ball game. But when you look at Leighton, Jerese Blackman, normally their leader, it was other guys stepping up. Watts played very well in the second half. Cragen hit a couple of threes in, uh, in this game, including the game winner. And that's going to give Matt Cragen our nudge player of the game selection with the game winning three tonight, getting the win for the Leighton Lancers. Congratulations to Cragen. What a nice win for Leighton. We talked about this team in our 5A preview show. If you haven't seen it, we talked about Leighton. He needs some wins to get them some confidence underneath, their, uh, underneath them. And a win against Brighton certainly does that. And wins in this tournament will certainly do that. But a nice win for Leighton. A tough loss for Brighton. But Leighton will move on to the tournament with a chance to win the Elite Eight Championship. Well, again, our final score, the Leighton Lancers 52, the Brighton Bengals 49, our Nudge player of the game, Matt Cragen from the Leighton Lancers, and Nudge with over 500 employees is one of the fastest growing companies in Utah County. To learn more about Nudge and their community outreach programs, go to www.nudge.com. Again, our final score, Leighton 52, Brighton 49. For Vince Francis, I'm Dusty Litzer. Thanks for joining us and watching High School Rewind's coverage of the Utah Elite Eight Basketball Tournament right here on Xfinity On Demand.